In order to be able to take advantage of Dreamweaver site management tools, you'll need to define your site. To do so, go ahead and go up to the site menu and then go to new site. And then if necessary, go ahead and click on your basic tab to go over to um, the wizard for your site definition. So the first thing you're going to be asked to do is to have a name of your site. So go ahead and name your site. And then go ahead and type the address of the site. Click on next. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to ask you if you want to use server technology, yes or no. Um, this is going to depend on your setup and how you're going to work things. I'm going to go ahead and click, keep it on no for now. Click next. You can now uh, choose to either edit your local copies on your hard drive and then go ahead and upload them to when you're ready. Or you can do it directly, meaning that as you make changes to your site, it's immediately going to be published. I like to go ahead and decide when I'm going to go ahead and publish to the internet when I'm ready. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one checked. Now here you can go ahead and you can browse and you could choose a new place to store your website if you'd like. And then click next again. And it's going to ask you how you want to connect to your remote server. And you could go ahead and do FTP, you could do local, you have a couple other options here. You can choose if you want to do local, then you could choose what folder you want to save your files in. Go ahead and select the place and click select. Uh, you can also go to the advanced tab and you could go to local info. choose none for now. I could go to local info and here's where I could go ahead and enter my HTTP address if I'm going to go ahead and publish that way. So when I'm finished defining my site, go ahead and we'll click next again to get to the end. And it's going to give us a little summary of all our information. Click done. And it's going to go ahead and define our site.